Hey everybody, Ann here. I have been up since 3 4 o'clock this morning. Couldn't sleep. I was thinking about some stuff. I was a little bit nervous about something going on. Uh, and now I am like way past coffee and I've been thinking about some stuff. Kind of like when you can't trust anyone, do you just give up and like check out? Well, that's kind of what I've been doing, but here's what I've been thinking about. Russia's war on Ukraine. Putin jailing opposition in Russia. Zelensky banning opposition parties in Ukraine, but I think it's okay because Ukraine, everybody likes Ukraine, right? So they're doing it better. Hunter Biden laptop not only reveals sicko stuff, but his and his family's financial gains received from Ukraine's politicians and business owners and like rich oligarchs yeah ukraine's got them too isn't it ironic that the laptop reveals the biden's family corrupt behavior in ukraine and now we've got this war going on in ukraine oh my gosh how we've been lied to about the pandemic our president is a senile confused aging man incapable of speaking clearly and intelligently Oh my gosh, we're screwed! But America's supposed next great hope is Donald Trump, who instead of up-talking at the end of each sentence or statement, he down-talks. It's like listening to a sludgy doom metal band. Kind of like somewhere between Heavy Lord's Diesel Weed and Black South's Void of Soul. I don't know, maybe like Solitude Eternus? Kind of like circa 1991. Mm-hmm. News outlets on both sides continue to vomit out propaganda and may times outright lies about everything. Teachers are grooming very young kids and teenagers to alternate gender identities and sexual preferences and to hate white people. That's scary. Politicians, our intelligence agencies like the FBI and CIA, news media, entertainers in Hollywood and beyond, educators, social media influencers, the health and medical industry, none of these entities and more can be trusted. It's no wonder people feel lost right now. Who can you believe? Who can we trust? Put your trust in no one here on earth. Trust God and the instincts he blesses you with because he is our only hope. Just pray. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. It's been raining. I left the chickens in the coop because it's supposed to be a pretty bad storm out today. So you know what? I'm going to go lay down and take a nap. Here's my sonny. Oh, that's my junior. We're going to take a nap in the middle of the day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is unusual. But Mama is tired. This is what we do every night before we go to bed. <laughs> A few moments later Guten Abend, good night. Later Mit Rosen de Dach One hour later Mit Neglein besteckt Ugh And it's still raining, and it's coming down harder. I guess it's supposed to be a pretty bad storm later on this evening. Anyhow, I had to wake the puppies up. I finally got uh, Junior to wake up. But you know what? He he is the sweetest, sweetest puppy, and I just adore him. I adore all of the dogs, but I got a situation with them getting out of the yard, and, you know, I, I kept blaming it all on Papa. I don't think I, I can do that rightfully because I have a feeling just some other things have happened. Um, I have a feeling that it's the puppies, actually. Um, and the first time, my initial thoughts was Papa got caught holding the bag. Um, I think that rings true because Papa never, ever, ever, ever attacked the chickens. He would chill out underneath the van and they would all come and lay down next to him. So I think the situation is with the puppies, but I just love them so much, and I cannot leave, I cannot leave this homestead with these puppies here, because if I leave them inside the tiny house, they tear stuff up, if I leave them in the yard, they get out, and I'm afraid they're going to get to the chickens, um, so I've made an executive decision. 
I am going to have to drastically shore up the chicken yards, the chicken yard, one big chicken yard. I mean, it's separated. It, there's a couple coops in it, but I need to get some heavy duty welded wire and I need to uh, just go around the entire outside of the chicken run and leave the chickens in the run most of the time unless I am there to supervise. So that means no free ranging unless very, you know, supervised sort of situations. Um, I'm just going to have to go forage for them like I used to. Um, I think if I have a really heavy duty chicken yard that is dog proof, um, they won't be able to get in and harm my chickens. And so I won't feel as uncomfortable if they get out of the yard. And I, I, I'm trying not to let them roam free all the time. Like I said, two times a day, uh, they get their exercise. But So that is my goal, to get some six foot tall, heavy duty gauged wire. Uh, I think they call it welded wire and some seven foot posts. I need to get those other posts out in the various places and put them around the chicken yard because the, that plastic netting is not going to work. The, the chicken wire is not going to work. The, the dogs can tear right through it. Um, so I love my chickens. I love my dogs. Um, if I had to make a choice between chickens and dogs, I would choose chickens. So I think I can have both if I just keep my chickens safe. And I can only do that with a better yard. So that is my plan. I've got some some uh, of the welded wire that I can move around. I'm going to get some more. I'm going to need some more. I may need some more posts. I'm not sure. But that is what I'm going to do. Because I just love these dogs. I just love them. And I want to be able to contain them in the yard while I'm gone. But if they should get out, I want to make sure my chickens are safe. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyhow, um, I did want to say hello to all the new subscribers. I can't believe it. I just looked the other day and I, and I looked and it's like over 5,500, I think. And I look back to the time when they started subscribing more people, you wonderful people. And it was when I, well, it's when I did the last political kind of weird video that I did. This is a homesteading channel, so I don't do a lot of politics because most of the people who watch me don't like to watch politics. So you, if you subscribe because of whatever conversations I was having political-wise, I hope you like today's video. But I also hope you open yourself up to maybe some homesteading videos so you'll stay. Um, I don't talk a lot about politics a lot every once in a while. But, you know, things get on my mind. I share them, I talk about them, and then I feel better like I already do. I already feel after talking about all that, like a weight has been lifted off because I know God has my back and I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. My dogs are going to be fine. My chickens are going to be fine. And all of you are going to be fine too. I don't know why I'm starting to cry, but it just takes a lot of prayer. You got to pray, guys, and you got to believe. You got to believe in Him. Not the ch crazy chicken lady. <laughs> Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.